Hey guys, in today's video we're going to learn how to set spots and rim sets, which are crystals, just like these. Um, these are going to help to um, accentuate your items, to make them stand out, and to add a little pop of bling. I'm going to go through the supplies that I use, um, where I get my supplies, and how to do them. Okay, so first off, I'm going to go through the setters that I have, which these are used to set the spots and the crystals. Um, I didn't buy these all at once. Um, it took me a little bit to get them all, um, but I'm going to go through them. The first ones here I bought from Standard Rivet, and you can notice that um, it's basically a metal shaft, and then there is a um, gold uh, thing that slides on, and that's basically going to hold your spot on, and then you will see the end of the shaft is concave. And basically you will just set your spot in there. These are used to set um, specifically pyramid spots. Okay, and so the next setters you see I have here, I purchased these from Tandy. Um, they are one piece. You'll see that the end is concaved, and I actually use these to set rim sets. Um, the rim sets fit perfectly in there, and they set them really good. Okay, so the next type of setter um, is, these are specifically used for spots. I actually also use them for rim sets sometimes, um, but I purchased this set of four from Tandy. Um, they do sell them uh, separately, so you don't have to buy them all four together. But you'll notice that the uh, tubular thing at the end is actually attached. Um, and what you'll do is just set your spot in there, the end is concave, and it will fit spots and rim sets. Then um, if you buy the set of four, you'll get this little holder like this. And you'll see these little spots here. These are actually made for you to set your spots on. It will bend the backs um, in. Okay, and then here is just a simple metal spot, a silver spot. You can purchase these from Tandy, Standard Rivet, Springfield Leather, wherever you want. Okay, so now we're going to set one of our spots. You'll see we'll we're going to take one of our setters from Tandy. This came in a set of four. We're going to slide our spot in there, and you will see it is basically upside down with the uh, spike sticking out. Okay, so now once we have the spot in there, you will notice that the setter will hold it in even if you turn it upside down. That means that the spot is in the correct size. Then we go ahead and put it on the leather, tap it in, and then it is good to go. Now, the next step is to bend the prongs backwards on the back. And you will see that I did this here. I'm just basically taking the um, end of my setter and I'm just basically bending those over. Okay, so the first spot we just set was a quarter inch spot. This one is 3 eighths, so it's a little bit larger. Um, I'm just going to show you guys how I set it the exact same way. Go ahead and put it in there. Oh, and you can see it fell out. Now this will, this is the correct size, but sometimes these spots are not all uniform. So what you can do is just see how I just bent those prongs out just a little bit, and now it is held in there and it is good to go. And now what I do is just set my setter over the leather, tap it, and it is in. Okay, and now I'm just going to set the back just as I did the other one, bend the prongs over. And I also wanted to make note, I don't know if you guys realize, but um, I am setting these spots into rubber. You do not want to set them into a regular table. The prongs will not set correctly. So you want to have a soft surface like a rubber so you can drive them into it, pull them out, and then push the prongs back together. Okay, next it, we're on to rim sets. Um, I purchased all of my rim sets through a company called Dreamtime Creations, and they are located here in Missouri. Um, I always use Swarovski crystals. I never use acrylic um, just because they have a little bit more shine. So what I'm going to do is take some super glue, add a little, little dab to the back of this, and I'm going to press the rhinestone down onto the leather. The reason why I do this is so when I do the setting, the rhinestone does not move. Um, some people ask me, well, how do you get it to stay like that? This is how I do it. Um, so I go ahead, glue it to the leather, set the rim set into the setter like this, Actually, so I got ahead of myself. I set the rim set onto the leather like this, place the setter over it, and give it a good tap, and it will drive it into leather. Now, you will notice that I am setting this rim set into um, this upholstery leather like this. Um, you have to be careful when you're setting these rim sets that you have long enough prongs so you can turn them over on the back. Um, these specific type of rim sets, 
I have right here. I do have longer prongs, but these are specifically made to go into a thinner leather, so you just want to make sure. And again, I pushed the backs over or the prongs over like I did on the spots, and now you will see it's perfectly set. The rhinestone isn't moving and it has great shine. These are just some of the rim sets that I own. You'll see um, I purchased these from Dreamtime. They have a rope kind and then they have a regular plain kind. Um, honestly, my most used rim set is a size SS34. And you'll notice that the rim sets are sized to match up with the Swarovski crystal size. Um, they go all the way down to SS5 or all the way up to SS40 or SS42. And then here are some of my spots. Um, you will notice I have copper spots and silver. My probably most used is copper. Actually, same with the rim sets. I do use a lot of copper. Um, and Tandy does not sell copper, just so you know. Um, the only places are like Dreamtime, Standard Rivet, um, Springfield Leather sells a copper spot. But you will see the silver ones are actually just plain silver spots. The first copper spot um, is actually a pyramid spot. Those are the ones that I add my patina to. Um, it gives them a cool little look. And the ones over on the far right are just a plain copper spot. I purchased those from Standard Rivet. Pyramid spots from Standard Rivet. And of course the silver ones are from TND. But Standard Rivet, Springfield Leather, they also sell the silver ones too. It's just... Um, I just have these from a project that I did, and like I said again, I don't really use the silver ones as much. I mostly use the copper, but that's just what is in style right now. Um, a lot of people like copper. Alrighty, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this kind of helps you um, learn how to do this and add a little bit of bling to your project. Um, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I can't wait till the next video. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.